KC. Now, I know you traded. Look, I know you traded the second best or even the first best wide receiver to the Miami Dolphins. Tyreek Hill. But you overreacted. You paid Marquez Valdez Scantlin $10 million a year? $10 million a year? $30 million for three years? And it could balloon to $36 million if he reaches incentives. Now look, I'm glad Marquez got his money. He's an up-and-coming receiver. He has some nice games, but last year, in 2021, he missed a lot of time. He caught 26 passes for 400 and something yards and three touchdowns. Now, this free agency period, the wide receiver, the market has exploded. And these guys are like, look, we got to get the best um, receiver that we can get right now. We got to get him in our system. And I, I understand that. And hopefully he'll, he'll pan out. If, when he's healthy, he's a decent receiver. But you just might have jumped a little too far on this one, KC. But it's a whole new month for wide receivers. So maybe this is the going rate. 26 receptions, 400 yards. And that gets you $10 million a, a year now if you're a receiver. What might happen is running backs might become wide receivers. They're looking at this market like, look, I don't want to run between the tackles no more. I could play wide receiver. So running backs might be like, I'm not playing running back. I'm going to be a wide receiver. And it just makes sense. There's more money at the wide receiver position. So dads, they're going to have their child play wide receiver and pop Warner in high school and college. They're going to get them right. And plus, there's more longevity at the wide receiver position and running back. So, yeah, we're going to see a lot of guys that look like they should be playing running back they're going to be playing wide receiver. All because of that money and that longevity. Some of the best running backs in the game don't make $10 million a year. Actually, you only got like eight wide no, eight running backs that make over $10 million a year. And in the NFL, there's tons of wide receivers that make more than $10 million a year. So yeah, you're going to see a shift.